people, I'm doing another two videos in one. Well, I wanted to talk about the Ren and Stimpy adult party cartoon. And how do I how do I feel about it? Because I'm a Ren and Stimpy fan and I've been that way for a very long time. So, you get so I always kinda wanted to tackle my thoughts on it. Although Although I have said it in one video, what I think about one episode, and it was the altruist episode. Uh, yeah, I yeah I talked about this once, but it's pretty much kind of like a Three Stooges episode, basically, just with one added twist. When they're trying to cut, when they're trying to make a house for this late for this lady, they're trying to make a house for this lady. Uh, freaking, uh, they get the, they do a whole bunch of stuff, but the one thing that will always stay in my head, no matter what, no matter what happens, no matter if I can get it out of me or not, is the freaking log cutting scene, and yeah, you guys were, you, if you guys watch the adult party cartoon, you'll know how I feel about that, and how emotionally scary it really was. So okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you what it, I'll tell you what it's all about. So, so freaking Ren, um, freaking got the saw, you know, one of those little saw belt thing where you got like, uh, actually it's like a saw belt, but I guess he used it as a strap on. Either either way, it was just horrible. Uh, so still he got the log, log like, on his butt, right? And he's just, Ren is just sawing. And still he starts moaning. Then, then I, then I freaking, you know, then before that, friend like, um, let's spit on his nipples and get them hard. And he starts sawing, and <laughs> still he starts moaning. He's like, make hard or stimpy. <laughs> and it just got weird. And then, uh, freaking, okay, okay. Here's the weird thing. He just starts stop. He starts halfway through. Stimpy says, are you going to finish the job? And then, you know, they start going, they got to go higher and higher, and then Stimpy moans like he's having an orgasm. And it freaks me out. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, you don't, you have no idea. The, 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 that scene stuck with me, and it's really, <laughs> Oh, God. I hate that one. I mean, at least, at least in the other episode, the one episode out, upwards and outwards or whatever it was called, at least they didn't show it. I mean, yeah, they implied it, but they didn't show it. And I was happy when they didn't show it. I am not kidding you, folks. I was, I, 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 I shit you not. You have to see this. It's, it's called The Altruist. Look it up. I swear. Yeah. It was that bad. I mean, the other the other episodes I do understand because they were like, you know, we got we got Ren and Stimpy on this network. We can have them do whatever they want now. We're not restricted to Nickelodeon anymore. So what do they do? I mean, they have Ren cuss and stuff. Like I don't give a, you know, I have them say I don't give a rat's ass about your needs and stuff like that to Stimpy. And that's cool. I like it. Now, people. Now, people. I actually did like Ren Seeks Help. Because, really, you do kind of understand how Ren is just nuts. Like, in the most clearest sense, you understand. I'm like, you know, freaking Mr. Enter uh, just did a, his uh, animated atrocities on it. Just a few, uh, just like, I guess last night, but I just saw it now, and it's pretty, you know, I can understand, but really, to me, it was actually a little bit, eh, kind of, it was, it was good, I didn't really laugh at it, like I did with the, uh, with the Altruist episode, because there's, because there, you know, despite the long cutting scene, there was a lot of funny parts in it, and few things that reminded me of the Three Stooges. Which is always a plus because man, I love the Three Stooges. Okay, so you know, so yeah, I do under 
understand, but uh, Ren. Okay, okay. The 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 one thing, <laughs> the one thing I, the one thing that still bugs me about the episode is that we never really find out what he did to Stimpy, and all we know is like, even John, even John K, the man who created it, he just said, you know, he just did something really, really unspeakable to Stimpy. And I'm like, what though? What did he do? Like, what did he do? What did he do that was so horrible to Stimpy that it's just so unspeakable? It's so unspeakable. That's what I really wanted to know. You know, that's what I really wanted to know. And it's still kind of, I still wonder because, you know, I just wonder because Stimpy, I mean, Stimpy would like never be like, oh my God, I'm going to kill you. He'd say, oh my god, I'm gonna kill you, you son of a bitch, a whole bunch of stuff. I actually didn't like that because, you know, freaking Ren always freaking calling him stupid, but you, but if Stimpy's upset for whatever Ren did, oh, 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 he must have did something really, really, really horrible. You know? But basically, I mean... You know, again, the Doe Party cartoon was just like, you know, we got rid of Stimpy, we'll have them do whatever they wanted. Nude Beach Party Frenzy, on the other hand, was... This, I mean, that, they never really aired it on TV. You had to get the DVD to watch it. Or it's on, and it's on Pornhub. Just saying, it's on Pornhub. If you want to like look at it though, it's not really it's not really like uh, pornographic though, which is the weird part. But I watched it on the DVD and uh, you know it's just boobs showing it's just people showing boob. It's just a cheap way to show TNA, which is actually okay. But you know, it, you know, Ren just looking at hot chicks, Stampy kind of getting jealous, which is weird. Okay, okay, okay. Let me explain this people. To me, Ren and Stimpy ain't gay. And yeah, you may think it sounds homophobic, but level with me here. Level with me here. Because, you know, pe you know, I think he only did the whole gay thing because you, you know, people ask, you know, you know people ask John K, you know, have Ren and Stimpy do this, and it's gay, blah, 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 it's funny. You know, and it's just, it, was, it, was, it was just weird. But, uh, <laughs> the best part in Nude Beach Party Frenzy was freaking, uh, Shampoo Master! Which kind of made me think of Powder Toast Man! Oh my god, if they, you know, it would be, f I don't want them to use Powder Toast Man, I didn't want them to use Powder Toast Man, so I'm kind of glad that they didn't, I wanted at least that little remnant of Ren Stimpy to just stay there, because, well, because all we probably get is Powder Toast Man banging that waffle chick in, the, in one of his episodes, and I didn't want to see that, I didn't want to see that. Because who knows? Powder Toast Man got like a. He's probably got like a toast. He's got a toastness. If you know what I mean. <laughs> he's got stiff bread. <laughs> but seriously, I just. I was kind of glad about that. Um, what were the other ones? Oh, yeah, yeah. And the, and the one that is the most notable to me. And the most actually. The actual. And actually funny, like, all the way through was freaking when Stimpy was pregnant. And Stimpy wasn't even pregnant, folks. He just had to take a dump. But you didn't know that until, you didn't know that until, like, you didn't know that until, like, the almost close to the very, very, very end. <laughs> It's that that to me is just funny, and you know I know Miss, you know Mister Enter doesn't really like the gross out humor, but I sure in the crap do, man. 
Girl said her uterus might. <laughs> in the back of a lack of a better term, you know, my roots, what what in turn before I did YouTube made me made me the most funny. But you can't really do anything gross out or gag worthy with my type of videos. So yeah, I had to leave that part of me behind, basically. But you know, I did like that I did like that because the gags in it was just they were they were good. They were good. All the other episodes, you know, they were okay. They had their thing. They all true was had the whole three stooge gimmick working for them and then, you know, there was the duck scene where freaking Stimpy would make eggs put on his boat while his duck was sexing him up. Yes, I, yes, I am not making that up. That actually happened. It was freaking horrible, and I just, I don't want to remember it. I just don't want to remember it. But, <laughs> Stimpy pregnant, you know, even if they trimmed it down a little bit, I can actually see it on Nickelodeon. And it really, the gags and stuff really do work. You know? They really do work. <sighs> but anyways, that's just how I see Ren Stimpy. And, you know, if, I don't think John Kane's ever going to bring Ren Stimpy back from the dead this time. But, you know, for what it was, for what they did with Ren Stimpy, I'm glad they brought him back just for a little while. I'm glad they brought some of my old cartoons, some of my old favorites back for a little while. To have, be, to have new people watch it, to make, to let new people be fans of them, even though, and even though in the high, even though, when we think about it, only a few of these aired, and the rest I just saw on the DVD. So you know, but really, I en I enjoyed it. I I, for 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 the most part, I did enjoy it, and I did, and we got to see if Stimpy. Ren Stimpy would still work with no with no clear restrictions. And in a way they sorta of do, but in most episodes, most little cartoons, they kinda they kinda fall flat. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to say, oh, Ren Stimpy the Girl Party cartoon was bad, like all the way. No, I'm just saying it was it could have been better. It could have been better if they they just worked on it a little bit more. I mean, yeah, it was funny. Some some parts, some parts, some parts scarred me for life. Just mostly the log rolling scene. There was a little bit of a scene in the uh, appearance and outwards one, but that wasn't really. They didn't show it. They kind of replaced it with spitball, and they did do a little metaphor. Like he's like Stampy. Your what? I'm the catcher. He's like, I, and he's like, I'm. He's like, Red, you're the pitcher. I'm the catcher. And I was like, Oh God! <laughs> I'm like, Oh God! No, no, no! <laughs> yeah, that did kind of, that did kind of leave leave a mark on me. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. <clears throat> so. Do I think the adult party cartoon holds up? Uh, <laughs> it's hard to say, kiddies. Uh, to me, I really think the jokes and stuff could have been better. I mean, the old episodes, I can still watch those, and they still have me laughing. You know? And there were some heartwarming episodes, like Stimpy's fart that left him, and, you know, he was like, Stinky! Thing. It, was a, it was a very little heartwarming episode, and it was about a fart. It was about a fart, people. And you know, and you know, when they, when I think about, when I think about uh, psychological thriller, sort of like uh, what they try to do with Friends Seeks Help, I immediately think, and to my favorite episode, Space Madness, for a lot of things. Because I like Space Madness because it was just paced. It was paced so freaking well. You ain't even. Like, you know, that Ransom, you're on like a freaking four year, five year, like space. Space thing. Space mission. And, you know, 
So Sippy's like keeping himself busy, but uh, Ren is like losing it slowly, but he's losing it. And, uh, you know, basically he just starts losing it. And when he does, it's really funny because he's like, he's freaking in the bath, he's in the bathroom. It's like anti gravity's anti gravity's on. So he's just like ranting, he's like rambling on. He's like, I like this ice cream bar. Did you see? Did you see the crowds like all like this is going on? Is he just floating in the air? While the water's with him, just floating in the air. It's just so freaking funny. He's like, I had this ice cream bar since I was a little child. Why won't you leave me alone? It's just <laughs>
bitch. You're gonna fall. And I'm gonna look down. And I'm gonna laugh. But first, but first, I gotta take a wheeze. Pretty much my verdict 
my verdict for it is, the adult party cartoon could have been great. It could have been spectacular, but, you know, it just, I feel like it didn't really try that hard. I mean, all it did was, like, we got the freaking, we got the, we got the comfort of doing nudity jokes and more gross-out jokes, and we can have an instant be swear if we need, if we need to. But feel like it feels like they didn't even try. You know, in these episodes that I'm that I've, you know these old episodes that I like so much, there's more effort. There's more effort put in them. And it's not because they're an, it's not because the animation is a little bit brighter or whatever. It's just there's a lot more. There's a lot more like. There's a lot more to. Okay, there's a lot more to these old episodes, you know? I just feel like, I just feel like I'm with the few exceptions from the adult party cartoon, they just didn't try. But that's all I gotta say. Oh yeah, the next episode, the next thing I'm doing is something very, very cool. So I just sit back and relax. I'll be back in a minute. Like, subscribe, and comment.